It normally takes 10 minutes, but Joseph Wood's execution by lethal injection took nearly two hours. It was very disturbing to watch. Some of the witnesses say the 55-year-old inmate struggled to breathe for hours as he lay in Arizona's death chamber. I can liken it to if you catch a fish and throw it on the shore, the way the fish opens and closes its mouth. You could hear a deep, snoring, sucking air sound, and this went on for more than an hour and a half. An hour in, Wood's attorneys tried to stop the execution, filing an emergency appeal, but Wood died before the court could act. One wondered if someone was going to come in and stop the procedure because, you know, we, you know, Troy and I were looking at each other saying, he's not dying. Wood's attorneys had tried to prevent the execution because Arizona was using a new experimental cocktail tried only once before in Ohio, where an inmate struggled for nearly 30 minutes before dying. But the Supreme Court denied Wood a stay. His death is the latest in a series of botched executions. In April, Oklahoma stopped the procedure as Clayton Lockett writhed on the gurney. He died 43 minutes later. Ever since Europe stopped selling execution drugs in the U.S. in 2005, states have been scrambling to find replacements, trying untested combination of drugs and facing protest. The courts need to put a stop to the states using experimental execution procedures. Although concerned about the length, Arizona's governor said Wood died in a lawful manner and by eyewitness and medical accounts, he did not suffer. Wood was on death row for the murder of his ex-girlfriend and her father in 1989. To me, it looked like he was sleeping, he was snoring. That's what I saw. And then he passed away. So how is that suffering? His victim's family shared little sympathy. Grateful Wood's life ended, no matter how long it took. You don't know what excruciating is. What's excruciating is seeing your dad lying there in a pool of blood, seeing your sister lying there in a pool of blood. That's excruciating. Jonathan Betts, Al Jazeera, New York.